Hello, this is Shakira again, and I just will make this video to talk to all the atheists out there, because I know there's a ton of atheists out there, even though some of them claim to be a Christian, but not really Christian. But anyway, I want to make a short video just for one point that there is a God, and he is the God that made the, the heavens and the earth. <clears throat> and if you don't believe in God, then like what the Bible says to fool. Well, let's jump into it. And we'll give you Psalms 14 1. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Um, so that's a fool right there that says there's no God. Because you gotta think about it. You don't wake up on your own. Even though it seems like it. Of course, when it comes to like going to work or school or whatnot, you know, you um have a alarm clock. But without alarm clock, who woke you up this morning? What about those years ago and centuries ago? Did they have alarm clocks? Who woke them up? You know, so alarm clock, I ain't trying to hear that. Um so the word of God itself already proved that the fool that says his heart there's no God. There is a God. Okay? And he is watching now and he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die to die on the cross for you and me. <clears throat> I'm sorry you don't believe. But it's like I have left comments, you know, on YouTube and on Facebook and whatnot. Should God just hide in an unknown space and just Poof, be gone and disappear because there are a lot of people that are atheists. Does that quite make sense? God is omnipotent, He's omnipresent, He's omniscient, He's everywhere. Okay? And He's not, He never gonna die. He's not gonna disappear. You know, He's the one that runs everything. Okay? It's just unfortunately the God of this world, Satan, has blinded people's eyes thinking there is no God. Okay, there is God. He is the Lord God Almighty who made the heavens and earth. Let's go back to Genesis 1 1. Let's read all the way down. Okay, I hope you got your Bibles. <clears throat> the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. And then go down verse 3. And God said, let there be light. There was light. Okay. Um, he also made the waters. He made the heavens. You know, like the sky. He made the water. He made the herbs. He made everything. And he the one that brought breath into man. Okay. That's what he did. He brought breath into the beast. He brought breath into man. Then it goes down to Genesis 1 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Then it goes down, verse 27 of Genesis 1. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created him. Male and female created he them. Okay? So he brought breath into man. The man became a living soul. That's what he has said. Now, if it wasn't for God, you and I would not be here. Would not. You know, um, there's not one time that God and man had a relationship. You know, it was in the Garden of Eden. Because um, God created female, which is Eve, out of Adam, put him to sleep. And took the rib out of Adam, the man, the first man, and made him a woman, like a helpmate. Okay, so for all you ladies out there, we were not created out of the man to be... A doormat, a piece of meat. You're created to be a man's helpmate. 
That's why you got marriage. So anyway, like I was saying, um, God created man and he brought breath into man's soul. But when, um, excuse the, the cell phone. But anyway, when God gave a command to Adam not to eat the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he met that. It actually is in Genesis 2.17. I can just read it real quick. This will be a short one. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for the day thou eateth there, eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay? So he met that. But, you know, devil, of course, the serpent, had deceived Eve in saying that thou shalt not surely die. Uh, excuse me. But anyway, um, need you to know that. That's why God and man have not, uh, now have a relationship together. And then now we all have sworn under grace, you know, and now we need Jesus. Because we all do, and we all sin against God for it. Romans 6, 3, 23, for all sin to come short under the glory of God. Um, saying there is no God is like saying there is no wind. You see the wind, but you can't see it, right? You feel it, but you don't see it. What about viruses and bacteria? How do you know if there's a virus and a bacteria? Have you seen it before? Have you ever seen an atom? Have you ever seen a cell? Have you ever seen your own organs out of your own body? No. You don't know what it looks like, right? But just because you don't see something doesn't mean it's not there. That's God is. He is very merciful and loving. He's not a hater. He's not a murderer. All right? He loves you. He cares for you. It's just unfortunately because of man's disobedience. That's why... The world is the way it is. And that's just a bottom line. It sucks, but that's the reality. Um, you need to come to Jesus. But Jesus can save your soul. <coughs> in John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, if even in First John 5.12 he that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Please choose life today. Stop believing that there is no God. You know, there is a place called hell for those that don't believe. That's just the way it is. But you could go to heaven, a place where there'd be no more weeping, no more sorrow. You'd be living with the Lord Jesus forever. He did die on the cross for you. He crucified his life. He gave it all for you and me. And he was raised on the third day. So please I pray and come to Jesus. This is going to be a short video. But please take heed because Jesus is coming back soon. Alright? I'll pray for you guys. Choose Jesus. Choose life. If you choose to live for yourself, the world, and the devil, you're going to choose death. You're going to lose in the end. So, you're on a winning team. Um, have a good night. I'll pray for you guys. Good night.